we are now turning our attention to energy and momentum. But before we look at these quantities in the relativistic framework, um, I would like to introduce um, the Hamiltonian and how it relates to Lagrangians. Um, when we discussed symmetries and their implication in terms of conservation uh, laws and conserved quantities, like the fact that invariance under translation in space lead to conservation of linear momentum, um, I mentioned in pa passing that um, if the Lagrangian was not time dependent explicitly, um, if it was not explicitly a function of time, then there was a conserved quantity uh, called the energy. Uh, but I never uh, showed that. Um, so we are going to, to do that now by taking explicitly the time derivative of the Lagrangian. So the total derivative is equal to the partial derivative, um, plus we need to take into account the fact that uh, x can depend on time, and of course the Lagrangian depends on x, so that's what this term here uh, means, and the same thing for x dot. Uh, but of course we, if we have a Lagrangian which does not depend explicitly on time, then um, this partial derivative um, of L with respect to T is just zero. And of course dx over dt is just x dot. We now use the euler lagrange re equation to replace uh, the partial derivative of x with respect to x. We recognize that this is a uh, product rule for the time derivative. We also recognize that um, del L over del x dot is uh, the canonical momentum for x, so it's p. So we see that we have a time derivative on the left hand side and also a time derivative on the right hand side. So combining everything to the left hand side, uh, we can write. This function px dot minus l is what we call the Hamiltonian and it is usually written with the letter H. So we see that uh, when uh, Lagrangian doesn't depend explicitly on time, which was expressed by the fact that its partial derivative with t was zero, uh, we get uh, conserved Hamiltonian because its time derivative, the total time derivative of the Hamiltonian, uh, is equal to zero. So let's forget about relativity for uh, one minute and, and look at the non-relativistic case. So in the non-relativistic case we have Lagrangian, which is... In this case the momentum is given by... and the Hamiltonian is given by... So we recognize that this is a sum of the kinetic energy plus um, the potential energy, and therefore that's what we call the uh, total energy of the system. So what we call the Hamiltonian is nothing uh, else but uh, uh, total energy, sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy of the system. Um, and we see that it's conserved. So we ha uh, have proved this fundamental relationship between uh, invariance and their time translation, uh, which is uh, manifested by the fact that the Lagrangian doesn't e depend explicitly on time, and the fact that there is a conserved quantity, um, which we know as the energy. <laughs>